Hello everyone, welcome back, here is Van Amsen. Today we are going to tackle an easy yet quite popular problem to sum. This problem is often seen in interviews, so it's definitely a good one to have in your toolkit. So let's dive in. Here is the problem and we are given an array of integers and a target number. We need to return the indices of the two numbers such that they add up to the target. The constraints are pretty generous and there should always be exactly one solution. So now let's look at the PHP code uh, we have been given to work with. We have to some function that accept the numbers ri and the target as parameter and currently does nothing. So let's change that. First, we will create a hash map to store number and its index. Map and iterate through the array. So for i less than count of nums increment calculate the complement of the current number with respect to the target. So complement target num and i. So if the complement exists in our hash map, we have found the number if key exist complement map return the indices of the two numbers so return map complement and i if the complement doesn't exist in our map, add to the current number and its index to the map. So map number and i, i. So if no solution is found, return null. So this should not happen, but probably constraints. Yeah, let's implement it. Return no. Uh, okay, so here you have it. Uh, this is code that will solve uh, the two sum problem in PHP. And the idea here is to use a hash map to reduce the time complexity. So uh, it will not be a brute force, which will run in O and square. Uh, for each element, uh, we check uh, if it's uh, complement, so target minus current number already exists in the hash map. If it does, we have our answer. If not, we put the current number and its index into the hash map and move to the next. So the number is our key and index is our value. And that's how you solve the two sum problem in O and time complexity, so linear. Quite an improvement over a naive brute force O and a square solution. So keep in mind that it's not just about solving the problem, uh, it's also about solving it uh, efficiently. So now let's look at uh, test cases, if they passed, so hopefully it does, yeah. So uh, our test cases were passed successfully. And we can look, for example, if we have first case with 2, 7, 11, 15 and 9 as a target, we iterate over the num array and our complement will be 9 minus 2, so current number. And we check whether complement, so 7 is a complement, exists in our current map. So it doesn't exist 
because uh, we are iterate from uh, left to right and we put two as a key with index of zero. And next we go uh, with seven and target is nine. So nine minus seven is two. So we check if complement exists in our map. So yeah, it's, it exists. So uh, it's uh, awesome because we have the solution. So our solution is the we pick a complement uh, key. So we retrieve the index. So in this case is zero. And we pick also the index of our current number. So it's one and output zero one and it's correct solution. So now let's submit for unsynthesized cases. Hopefully they will pass as well. So yeah, they passed and we runtime beats 64% and memory with 8%. So uh, yeah, awesome. And uh, I hope you liked this video and remember to subscribe and hit the uh, bell icon for more coding uh, tutorials and solutions. And as usual, happy coding and see you next time.